caught you in the act to tell us lies would be nonsense. I should tell you that I'll be your worst nightmare if you bet on yourself. So tell me, why'd you impersonate a cop? I told you, I'm a cop for the Decepticons. Well, it looks like we have a good cop and bad cop. Seems a little happy. Of course I am, dumbass. I'm turning 21, which means I can finally put alcohol into my mouth and through my stomach and through my liver and through my bladder, which would eventually lead me into peeing. But I... Oh, Putin! <sighs> I should probably tell you... I don't care what you have to say for yourself. I... I don't need your sympathy. I can do whatever I want. Which, by the way, th that does not include drinking and driving because that would be very bad. Very bad. It would be very bad. I should probably tell you. You know what, Poutine? Shut your fucking mouth. I gotta do a review. And uh, you know what? I'm going to do a review of a figure that can arrest me if I got ID and decide to go to a bar. Yes, I'm talking about Prowl. What a transition! So here's Prowl in his alt mode, and as you can see, he is a police sports car. Now, just getting the elephant out of the room, he is a remold of Smokescreen, which has actually been seen in the Transformers Prime show. And in alt mode, I like the paint scheme of this a little bit more than Prowl, but in robot mode, it's another story. Now, he has sirens, which is different than the actual Smokescreen mold, and a Coke can can be seen rolling at the corner. What does it mean? What does it mean? Now for Prowl, he's got a different paint scheme, of course, compared to Smokescreen. And this figure comes with a couple of Autobot logos with a police deco around that. He's got one in the front and two on the sides. He's also got this major police logo, and look at the front of that. He's got a bra, ladies and gentlemen! He does have some purple windows, which I kind of find odd. It actually matches the siren on the top there. I, I kind of find that weird. But uh, other than that, there's not really a major difference between this and Smokescreen, as far as mold-wise going into this mode. Um, there is a little bit of a change-up in his robot mode, which you pretty much already know. I'm pretty sure of that. But he also comes with this little gun. I didn't swap that out for Smokescreen's gun. This is pretty much the same gun, just with a darker missile. If you wanted to see Prowl with the armaments of Smokescreen, here you go. He's got this little netting and this spiky armored sports bra. But I mean, come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So as comparison, here's a Coke can. You can plug the gun on the side of the spoilers or on the top, which actually gives me an idea. Err, smashing baby, yeah. Now, I don't know if you could see that, but can you tell that one of the panels in the back has a different shade than the other? Well, that's odd. So that's it for Prowl in alt mode, let's go to robot mode. You're under arrest. Get in the car. But you are the car. Exactly. Now here's Prowl in his robot mode, and I'm going to say right off the bat, some people might not be interested in this toy because 
He's basically why he's basically a police version of Smokescreen. Unless you like the character Prowl, you're probably not going to get too into this. But I'll tell you this. This is probably a lot better than the Smokescreen. Now the Prowl head looks a little bit bigger than Smokescreen's head, which kind of worried me because I was thinking that Prowl's head will not fit in the alt mode. As it turns out, it actually fits incredibly well. We are going to compare Prowl to Smokescreen quite a bit, and I just, I really love the colors of Prowl. I'm not sure how I feel about the purple, but other than that, I just love the detail. I mean, he's got these little blue lights. Oh my god, that is just perfect. Even though his lights are yellow in alt mode, it doesn't really matter. With the smokescreen, he actually lacks a lot of the paint scheme. He actually lacks it here. Uh, he lacks it all around here. Of course, he has more plastic, so they kind of had to reduce the paint scheme and the quality of it. But, uh, I don't know. It's just, there's something about Prowl. What makes Prowl's paint scheme better than Smokescreen's paint scheme is the fact that Smokescreen is not accurate. He is not actually white. He is actually silver in the show. And don't bitch at me because of Beast Hunters, he was blue. I'm talking about the version that this is trying to represent, and it's not accurate. It's also not accurate to the Generation 1 smoke screen, which was more red and blue than white, or silver. But um, we're not going to compare that to the Generation 1 version, we're just going to compare it to the show version. This is not that accurate. I mean, it's not like a, a huge step away from smoke screen, but it's not accurate. Prowl? Even though he doesn't have a CGI model, unless you include the Transformers Universe version for some reason, this guy looks like Prowl. He, he really does. White and black are original and true colors. So yeah, that's a thing. Actually, Prowl's armor kind of works better because he's actually got some metallic blue in there. We swivel of justice! Woo! Now one major thing that actually worries me about Prowl more than Smokescreen is Smokescreen has a more simple paint scheme. And what I mean by that is the paint on Smokescreen seems to rub off or scrape off pretty easily. You gotta watch out for that. And I hope that's not the same thing with Prowl because Prowl's got a little bit more details going on. So that kind of worries me. Just something to watch out. Don't, like, roughhouse it or anything like that. Don't take your fingernail and scratch out the paint. I don't know why you would want to do that anyways. Unless you're a customizer and have to take out the paint. Maybe? Who are you? I just wanted to have a shot of the Cyberverse figures and the Deluxe figures, and I gotta say... This Prowl is so much better than this Prowl. I don't hate this Prowl, but I love this Prowl. Do they still run Reno 911? Can this guy make a cameo? There's a Transformers Collectors Club repaint into Barricade, and I just, I, I gotta point that out. I love the look of that. I would love to get that figure at some point in time. Yay! Something that I don't like is the panels on the side. Uh, that's just... It, it goes everywhere. You play around with this and it'll just flop around. Also, he's got little blades on the underneath of his arms, but that could be turned into a weapon. Use your imagination! I don't know if this is just mine, but the paint on the side of here, it's actually got some bubble marks and some ridges. Uh, not a good sign for the paint. Something that's kind of cool, and I don't know if this is intentional, but you can see a white ring around the uh, dot there that's actually unpainted. I think that looks really nice because that makes those little bits of detail really show up. Good God, I love that head. I thought that I would absolutely hate this head. I thought it was terrible from the start, but good God, does that look beautiful. You can do the splits. Mm, the detail. Detail. D detail. Mm, detail. Detail. I mean, there's not really much more to be said about this figure. I love the fact that he's actually got the police logo on the front of that, so that's really cool. That's like a badge! Oh, that's awesome! But, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, he, he doesn't come with any armor attachments, so I guess that's cool if you really hate them or threw them away or whatever. But, um, yeah, he, he still, of course... You can still put the smokescreen armor on this guy, but why would you? This guy is just beautiful. Ah. So that is pretty much it for robot mode. Let's go to my overall review.
So overall, do I recommend Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Prowl? I would say that I would. Yes, he's a little overcomplicated, but I just really like the look and design of him. I think everything fits well. The purple shouldn't really fit well for him, but surprisingly enough, he does a really good job at it. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to have some beer. By the way, around here, the drinking age is 19. What? What I, what I want to say. I just want to have a conversation. I want to spill my feelings. It doesn't even feel like you're listening to me. I don't want your sympathy. I want your ears. I want you to listen. This is why we can't communicate. What do you, what do you think of Prop? Do you think that it's a really cool toy that people should buy? Do you, do you think Prowl is an awesome toy that people should buy? I think so too. God, you're cute.